Hey guys, uh, it's Chris and Broken Dev RC uh, coming to you live. Well, not really, but uh, anyway, it's been about 10 months since I put up a video, uh, and here I am. So, yeah, I should do scripts. That would be a script would really help here, but whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been a uh, bit a little busy. Uh, finally had some spare cash for some projects. And I thought I'd uh, share them in the next few videos. But uh, anyway, today I'm talking about this thing, the VRD Carbon, uh, the kit. Uh, this is an unboxing. I'm kidding. It's not an unboxing at all. Um, just uh, my thoughts about it. Uh, my lousy opinion, as I put in the title. Uh, get rid of that. Here it is. Ah. I, I'm not, um, to be perfectly honest, I'm not, uh, uh, well, I used to be into crawling, like quote unquote quasi competitive crawling, uh, about, I don't know, 10 years ago, kind of fell out of it a little bit and then, um, got into the scale stuff, obviously big, big time. There's a big story about that. I won't bore you with that. Uh, anyway, ended up with. Uh, at least a couple of uh, Vanquish trucks, and then uh, this will be number three. And I haven't, uh, uh, there's been a, kind of a couple of comp series out here that's been really laissez faire and, and not very serious, uh, which is just kind of my gig. Uh, anyway, uh, this winter uh, decided to uh, pick up one of these and build it, and uh, I have to say it's been one of the best, it's probably one of the best driving trucks. I, I wouldn't call it, a, I wouldn't call it a trail truck. I love seeing guys make trail trucks out of them. Uh, they're really kind of cool. Um, there's not a lot of material there to go on like three or five miles. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, over, over eight hours of constant driving. Uh, the Phoenix kind of takes, I think, I think takes care of that. Um, but yeah, I just haven't had, you know, uh, something with portals that uh, you could do all kinds of crazy stuff with and and really focus on driving. And uh, this truck takes the cake. Uh, it's it's really something. Um, as far as the kit, uh, kit went together. I, I like kits, okay? I'm a kit guy. I, I usually don't do the ready-to-run thing, although the, the ready-to-run version of this is, is really strong. Um, I ended up... Uh, you know, obviously getting the kit, building the kit. Uh, kit comes together very well. Uh, my, just my opinion, my experience. Uh, I've, I've got experience building kits, but it's still on me. So I get like brain fade and, you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, a kit came together very well. I went over the, the structures are great. Uh, however, I got really mixed up because uh, when you go to put these portals together, uh, a couple of bearings are one millimeter off. And in the instructions, in my faded brain, uh, I got them confused. So after a couple calls to customer service, uh, Mike kind of squared me away. And uh, yeah, <laughs> on and on I went. I thought, I didn't get enough bearings, whatever. Um, uh, it all worked out in the end. But I just want to kind of heads up for some of you that may not have the experience or maybe it's your first or second kit, that kind of thing. Uh, the instructions are great, but I don't know what it is. Uh, it really uh, just threw me for a loop. Uh, and, and if you, you know, just saying, take your time, relax, um, and it won't be an issue. But it's very easy to get the bearings a little confused between uh, like the end of the axle and putting together these hub carriers, these, um, portal boxes together. Uh, they're just a little close. Uh, the second thing I would kind of warn you about is the Eclipse. And Eclipse suck no matter what. They're just, they're the bane of my existence. I cannot handle Eclipse at all. Uh, Vanquish uses them in their shocks. Uh, and I'm used to Tamiya kits, right? I've been put stuff together since 83. And Tamiya used to give you like a whole bunch of them. And they were larger Eclipse, I kind of have to say. These are, I think, one and a half or two millimeter Eclipse that go on the shock assembly. 
and they are boogers and boy they really can get away with you if you're doing it with a pair of pliers uh they can be they they do a lot of ricocheting around the room and vanquish only gives you the exact number that you need so if you screw one up or you lose one in the carpet that's it that's it no more um so that's that could be a little frustrating it's not so much on i'm not putting this on vanquish i'm just saying um Someone recommended <laughs> a eClip tool, and I highly recommended picking up one of these. I think this was seven bucks on eBay, uh, eBay on um, on Amazon. Very good idea. Also, one of the recommended tools to pick up uh, to assemble this or anything else is uh, an aluminum shock pair of shock pliers because uh, they're aluminum. They won't mar the shock shaft, and uh, they're just good for good. For popping in the balls and rod ends and everything else, and these are these are pretty inexpensive. Um, I don't know. I think they're under ten bucks, if I remember right. Uh, but anyway, that's about it. And then uh, this guy, I went to put a proline body on it, and uh, not bad. Just use the regular front mounts. Uh, the rear, um, I have to redesign this a little bit. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to remake the same thing, but another version it's, uh, backed up with a piece of metal that you get at home Depot. Uh, and it's for basically for flashing in that it's kind of a thin metal. And then you, uh, you just kind of, I just kind of banged it out in a vise to go around the bottom, the, the rear bumper and then, um, backed it up with another piece of just a slightly thicker metal. And I can't remember the dimensions, but it's just, it's just a slightly thicker, piece of steel uh to keep this straight so it doesn't it doesn't bend over and fly apart i just have to make it a little longer see it kind of comes up here so it tends to pop out on the trail or you know rock crawling in that and then um like in my case i made a this thing's only about an inch or so wide i took some styrene some styrene uh like tube or whatever you got you could use a piece of rubber hose too and just glued it into the ends just so it keep it from moving back and forth. And then I just glued it and then there was some E6000 and a little black paint and there you go. It's kind of good to go. Like I said, I need to redo, I need to redo this, make it a little better. Not only that, with the, with the VW body, it it's, acts as a hinge. So that's kind of handy. And it tends to do pretty good. I mean, it's not, you know, I still have, I'm sure, as far as performance wise, you're you're still adding some weight up here, and this is like a proline crawler body, uh, the VW body, and like in the old days, we used VW bodies to keep it from acting like a turtle when it flip over. It kind of go to one side or the other, acts like a like a top, and you can kind of you could usually throttle your way out of it and get back upright again. Um, I don't know if that's the case anymore. I have no idea. This is <laughs> this is years ago. Um, so yeah, that's kind of nice. Uh, power plant, I've got a revolver. Uh, basically I went, I originally put a hobby wing. Uh, God, I, I can now, I'm going to flake. I'll, I'll put it in the, in the video. What do I put in there? <laughs> I, I want to say hobby, a, hobby wing 1080 pro. Um, it has the, uh, ESC and everything in one unit uh they're about 175 i think there's a cheaper version that has a little bit lighter bec uh, that works very well and fits in here just fine um after a while in fact i liked it so much i put it i basically wanted to take it out and put it in in that guy up there in my phoenix uh which i ended up doing and I, then i went with i never tried a revolver before so I got a revolver, and this guy, I can't remember the version of this guy. It's a Holmes Hobby, oh, okay, Holmes Hobby 2200 uh, revolver uh, with the Crawlmaster version 3 uh, all ready to go. And I have a, uh, what they call a, a snubby kit on back order, and I'm waiting for that to come in. Now, I have also heard, uh, which I didn't know once I ordered this, uh, that the regular revolver won't fit with a stubby kit. So <laughs> I ended up picking up this guy, uh, which is a stub nose revolver. 
Uh, focus, 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 focus. Anyway, it's the snub nose, snub nose revolver. Uh, this is, this will actually work out a little bit better. For me, this is a 1400 KV, uh, which means I could, I could run four cell with it. Um, and it's not, a, not an issue. Uh, uh, the, the ESCs are only about 80 bucks, uh, from the Holmes website. Um, or I could, I could use that with another, another ESC. I just didn't want to be a screamer. Um, and yeah, I'm very happy with it. Very, really low end torque is great. Um, you know, it's, it's amazing for a, basically a sensorless system. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, and like I said, I had, uh, uh, N NSDRC, a, a power, basically a power servo on it originally. Uh, so yeah, the power comes off the battery and, uh, that takes care of the steering duties. The, the other reason I wanted a snub nose is obviously I could, I could switch the kit. I could put this behind the axle and I want to try that and see how it's going. Uh, the only problem with that is I don't know how a full size servo is going to do with that on there, but I, I think for like a comp situation, I don't, it may not be that big of an issue. I don't know. We're going to find out anyway. Um, all things considered, uh, I'm very happy with it. You know, now when I, my only recommendation is build it, run it, see how you like it. And then tune up as you go to small little changes. Um, I ended up getting the brass, putting the brass portal covers on this, um, uh, which, uh, significantly changes the weight. Also, that's another hundred bucks. Uh, but it does make a difference. Uh, the next step is, uh, uh, basically I just, I played around with the shock mounts a little bit, uh, changed some hardware around and, uh, you know, moved it up to the upper shock mount. I might change, uh, the next step is to, ch is to put some more, some heavier shock fluid in it. Um, you know, just to slow it up on the back end, get a little more push on there, try to help the torque twist a little bit. It doesn't have a ton of it anyway. Uh, but you know, it's just something to fart around with for, for you know seven bucks a bottle it's it's kind of a cheap you know you can always change it it's not a big deal um but yeah i mean outside of that it's been trying to i've just been trying to kind of lower the lower the suspension a little bit um get the right height going i ended up with um obviously the vanquish wheels uh with their their vanquish tires and they're i've got running their vanquish foams in there too the two-stage foams and they're they're really nice um, there's a comp coming up, coming up kind of like a, a low bro. There's a, there's a comp coming up in a couple weeks. I'm going to see how I do. I'll probably tank because I usually tank in these things anyway. <laughs> the driving, I'm not so bad. It's just doing it all under six minutes. Um, whatever. I always time out. I'm pretty awful. When I, when I get to the stages, I, I pretty much suck. So, <laughs> I, but I have a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't take it real seriously. I'm not into Sorka or any of that crap. I'm just not personally. I just I run. I just have to say, like for driving, basically it's just it's seriously to go from I don't know to go from the scale stuff, which has its, that has its own fun on its own. Don't believe me. And driving scale stuff is is a lot of fun, um, and uh, I really get into it a lot. But going from that to something that's that's competitive like this, uh, for, or or I should say performance oriented, um, is really a treat, and uh, um, you know it's it's fun to watch this thing run. It's a blast. It's a blast. Oh, and if anybody you know, wonder, I I wondered this too. This this front end, I thought, well, that's going to be the first to to get tore off. It survived just fine. <laughs> At <laughs> the front end of the bug body, because I'm generally waiting for this to wear off, and I'll just clip it here. Nah, it's fine. It does this thing. Doesn't even get hung up on anything. I'm kind of amazed. I don't run courses backwards, but there you go. Um, but anyway, that's about it. I just wanted to kind of catch you up. I haven't put up a video in in forever. Um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of um, that's the booty. That's the booty end business end. 
but yeah, I just wanted to kind of catch up with you guys and see and let you know what's happening. I got a couple other videos coming up. I get questions about uh, paint all the time. Um, that's kind of I kind of get into the painting end quite a bit. But um, there's some little tricks on painting outside of Lexan. I want, might do a video on that and um, let you guys know. See what's up. So uh, hopefully uh, you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you later.